having him on the field, that connective tissue of being able to sweep in front of that back line, but also get the ball back to Rusnak. Roldan, Morris, chomp to move around, but Kubas ultimately in front of that back line. And that back three, they've been really good as well. Takaoka obviously in goal. In fact, experience with this rivalry against Vancouver from all the way back in the 1980s. We're underway inside Lumen Field. Another night for this Cascadia Cup rivalry between the Sounders and Vancouver Whitecaps. What you want to do on paper tactically versus the reality of your team and the opponent you're playing against. Rolled on, interior to his older brother. Deflected on the way in, Takaoka had to readjust his feet, but he did really well to get down on his left-hand side. In between two Sounders players on the return pass. This is better here from Vancouver. Gold will relay it wide for Ali Ahmed. Matched up against Alex Roldan. Back out top, Vite to hit it out in front. Not the cleanest save there from Stefan Fry, but it did the job on this occasion. Short corner into the feet of Roldan. Back for Rusnak. All the way across to the far post. And coming in late was Jordan Morris. Sprinting away from the pressure from Kubas. Jordan Morris, edge of the 18, ears pinned back to get to the inline. Cuts it back onto his right foot. Knew who will chip it into the area. Takaoka had to come. He didn't get a touch to it. But it was Tristan Blackman who came to the rescue. Ludwig into the feet of Brian White, who will relay it out wide. Ryan Gall back at the center circle. While Rami Toshan tries to restore some order, see what we see here. Because the ball came into White, but it. After review, number 25 Green committed a serious foul play offense. The final decision is red card. Wow. So not the initial yellow card that was given to Jackson Reagan, but a red card, straight red in fact. There you see the wave off of the yellow and after a VAR decision, a red card here late in the first half to Jackson Reagan. Seems a bit harsh to me, Heath. Seems really harsh. But again, as we started to watch that replay go forward and back, forward and back, up, more and more. Seattle with all sorts of players stacked up around the penalty spot. Chipped in to the edge of the six and headed down and wide. Second time this half that Jordan Morris has been in and around the six trying to cause some havoc and the second time he sends it wide as the halftime whistle. Those are the little details there. You get those opportunities. Came back and announced to the fans here inside Lumen Field that it was a straight red rather than just the yellow and that means as we kick into second half action have added their name to the scoring summary. Yamar, Vargas, giveaway at the top of the area. Adekube swinging it to the penalty spot, and there's the goal! Ryan Gold, the man who went down to draw the first half red card, has now given Vancouver the lead on the road. Make the most of it. They try to force the ball out, a quick play. This is the cutback. Fantastic vision there get more time, all of his time off the bench so far, but you would expect as they get into May, June, July, August, where you're playing eight, nine matches a month. Turnover again, and a chance to double the lead, and they do! It's the second time tonight a turnover has been costly, and this time it's Brian White. Two-nothing Vancouver. But you see him just apply pressure, two against one. He tries to dribble through that. Then he regains his composure and just slots it home. That's probably what was on the board, so. Here is Ali Ahmed. And rolled up on. And that's going to be a straight red for Alex rolled on. Oh, Oof. yeah, that's a... There's no argument there. There's no need to go to a booth or even take a look at from another angle. That is just a full lunge with intensity. And that could come with some extra games on the back of that one. Yeah, I don't think.
think Manny Sartini thought that this is how the win would come, but. Raposo clipping it in, and it's three. No, on the doorstep. Huge save from Stefan Fry. And then the veteran goalkeeper takes a knock from Brian White, who is then shown a yellow card. Herdman, good turn at the top of the 18, lets the shot go. Stefan Fry did have it covered going down to his right side. Means that they'll know more next week on how long it'll be until they get him back. Corner driven in to the far post. Musoski there, so too is Yamar in front, and Takaoka's biggest save of the night to preserve the shutout here in stoppage time. Many Seattle fans have headed for the exits, and there is the final whistle from Rami Touchon. All the way back to 2016, the last time Vancouver claimed a win in MLS play here in Seattle.